What's up? It's Jared from Vandalistica Vlogs, and today I'm doing another review. Miller Genuine Draft. Now, I really don't drink all that much to be honest these days. I'm kind of old and stuff, and you know, constitution doesn't really uh, stand up to as much punishment as it might have done back in the day. But you know, I've been working the last four days by myself at the hospital and uh, now I have four days off. So I figured I would relax a little bit with a tasty beverage. Another American classic. I decided I'd give this a go just because I tried the uh, I tried the PBR the last time and you know what? I put the last couple of cans in the fridge and left them in there for a couple of days and drank them and like I was right. It's like when it's super icy cold, it's really, really good. Mm, that might be a bit enthusiastic. Really <laughs> thirst quenching. Really adequate. <laughs> okay, so we've got uh, we got a six pack. Uh, I believe it was like twenty four dollars, something like that. Three hundred and thirty ml bottle, which we know is eleven ounces from the last time. Eleven and change. I don't know. My hand is a little bit. Oh my gosh, those muscles. Four times filtered beer for exceptional smoothness. Let's see. Smells like beer. I feel as though maybe I had just been drinking, used to drinking so many strong beers and so many like really uh, unique beers, like you know, um, craft beers and that kind of stuff, for the place that I normally uh, would go to drink. Oh, can you believe this is from Milwaukee as well? What is, is Milwaukee like brewing capital or something of America? Or the original brewing capital? Established in 1855. I don't know. Hmm. It's just beer. So I guess uh, we'll have a look at the comments from the last video. See what you all had to say about that. Uh, Grandman, the homeboy less. PBR was what I suckled on when I was a wee lad. I've since learned that grandfather was right, that American beer was piss water. <laughs> he came over in 26 from Austria, Hungary. Uh, visited Sess and Jolly Old in 2002 and I had a whole world of microbreweries to consume at my pleasure. Thank God that the states are learning to do the same. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I think that's kind of the how it is here as well. Like, it, everybody downsized barbecue beers, but uh, the majority of people these days kind of really do enjoy finding out about smaller breweries and that kind of thing. Local breweries. Uh, Skulls and Homes. <laughs> Is it the same company that makes blue ribbon ice cream? Yeah, sure. So Rob from Black Cat Outdoors said 20 bucks. Uh, don't know the conversion rate, but a sixer of that is like $7 around here, I think. If I could ship it, I'd send you actual decent USB. Please don't judge the whole country on PBR. Uh, um, still, you know, $7 Australian is, is still, I mean, sorry, $7 USD is still, I think, like, mm, 11, 12, no, 12, $13 or something like that. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's cheap. That's pretty good. The homeboy, Thousand Hills. Back when I used to drink in the BC days, the stuff was junk. <laughs> I'm surprised it's popular now. It must be a hipster millennial thing. And you know what? I think that's actually true because when I went back to the bottle store to get to pick up this beer, I didn't notice it. It might have been there last time, but like on the rack where the beer actually sits, there was a little like dangling down, um, like a little advertisement thing dangling down it says, um, new in, try the original PBR. So I think it's just that thing of like, oh, I can appreciate that. Uh, some people kind of like give up the drink after a while. I think I, I don't think I'd ever stop drinking, but I definitely wouldn't drink like I used to. Yeah. Uh, Travis P11 said, uh, here in the States, you can get a six pack of tall boy 24 ounce PBRs for around $7 USD more or less. Uh, yeah, and that's, uh, I think that goes to what I was saying about the like, just the, uh, the competition. I think the, 
because you have more competition in the states, you know. Hooray for a free market. Gun toting pacifist, PBR is going for $8.99 for a 12 pack here in the states. The micro breweries all over this country now and they're really good. Four pack of good stuff typically goes for $12 to $15. So you're looking at close to $30 USD for 16 ounce cans. Uh, my favorites are Julius from Treehouse. Whirlpool from Night Shift and Hop Hop and Away from Aeronaut. When when <laughs> when you pick up a beer and it has like a, a humorous, whimsical kind of name, you know, A, it's probably a microbrewery, some kind of craft beer, and B, it's probably going to be about ten to fifteen dollars more than you'd pay for a regular beer. Uh, Big Dave, the Kingpin. Mass production beer in America is as basic as it gets. PBR is basically a party beer meant for volume drinking. <laughs> uh, and Mad Sexy, good stuff. I enjoy it. Ice cold Budweiser and a really good hard whiskey. Uh, I'd go whiskey, but Budweiser is... Do you know what? It's almost on the same level as Budweiser. Like, the lack, the... I think some people might call it a clean smooth taste or whatever but I feel like it's a lack it's like a lack of body that's just like there's not much to it yeah anyway it's I mean it's it is what it is 24 bucks I kind of expect a little bit no nah, it's about right yeah anyway that's me I'm just <sighs> you can't drive away from the coronavirus people speed will not help you all right, so I'm gonna leave it there. I do want to say thank you to everybody who stopped in recently and checked out the last couple of videos. Um, I've got four days off for this Easter weekend, so I'm sure at some point I'll jump in front of the camera. I might even have a look through the news and see if there's anything that's interesting slash frustrating slash infuriating. Uh, I want to say thank you to Jennifer Freese, the most recent subscriber. Um, this is it. <laughs> it's basically just a dude with no shirt on, either drinking beers, playing Xbox, or getting angry at the government for restricting gun rights. So, God bless. Look after each other and yourselves during the sitch. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.